understand it when it first happens, but amen, in a little while you will. <clears throat> the Bible said, who passing through the valley of Baca, maketh it a well, the rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. Now, would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come, I uh, once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name, I, I all that's above every name, God, I thank you, I, I, Lord, for what we felt here this week, I, and Lord, I pray tonight, would you reach down and anoint me, your servant, I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power, I, and Lord, I pray, as David said, I, I let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, I, I be acceptable in thy sight. I, I hold my Lord, my strength, I, and my Redeemer, and will not fail to praise you. I, I, in Jesus' name, I, I, amen and amen. You can be seated. Amen. The other night as God began to deal with my heart, I, amen, I couldn't get past, amen, the little picture I was wanting them to put up if they can. I, uh, amen. Several years ago, there used to be a little baby shampoo I, I, that said, no more tears. I, and I couldn't get that phrase out of my mind. I, I, amen. No more tears. I'm glad that we're heading to a land I, I, that one day there'll be no more tears. I, I, no more pain, no more sorrow. I, I, but until we get there, I, I believe there's some things that God would like for us to understand tonight I, I, about tears. I, I, amen. The first thing that I want us to know tonight I, I, that our tears must be precious to God I, I, because the psalmist said, I, I, Thou tellest my wonderings. I, he said, Put thou my tears I, I, into thy bottle, and are they not in thy book? I, I, now you only say things that are precious, that are important, that have memories associated with them. And amen, I want you to know there's not a tear that runs down your cheek that God is not aware of. God knows every tear that goes down your face. But amen, I want you to know tonight, amen, that God has told us in his word that there is a land that we're heading to where God himself is going to wipe away every tear from our eyes. I, I thank God tonight. I, I said God wants us to know how, how, how that we can deal with them tears. Amen. Amen. But sometimes, you know, when I was growing up, I, I, it was a different time. I, I, amen. Then, you know, a lot today, amen, are more open with their feelings. I, I, but I had that drilled into my head and into my heart. I, I, real men don't cry. I, that's not true. I, I, amen. At some point in your life, I, I, there is going to be something that happens I, I, that you're not going to know how to handle, I, I, that you're not going to know how to deal with. I, I, but friend, I want you to know you don't have to be ashamed of that. I, I, the Bible said the name of the Lord I, I, is a strong tower I, I, and the righteous run into it and I, I, they're safe. Amen. There's a place I, of refuge tonight. I, I, that when it gets too much for us, I, I'm glad the Bible said I, I, that we can cast all of our care I, upon Him I, I, for He cares for us. Hallelujah. I, and so tonight, God just began to stir my heart. I, amen. About, amen. How do we deal with those times? I, I, first thing we've got to remember, Brother Matt, I, I, is the fact that they are not going to last forever. I, I, the Bible said in Psalm 30 and verse 5. I, 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 amen. The latter part of that verse. I, I, that weeping endure for the night. I, I, but joy cometh in the morning. I, and sometimes in the darkest part of our life. I, I, amen. The urge to cry. I, I, that enemy would love to make us feel like. I, I, that we have no hope. I, I, that we have nowhere to turn. I, I, but that's not true tonight. I, I, amen. There's still a God. I, I, and he is real. I, 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 amen. And he says I, I, that we can come unto him. I, I call ye that labor in our heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. I, I thank him tonight I, I, that I found out he can help me. I, I deal with the tears I, I, that sometimes come in my life. 
Amen. But if you begin to read the commentary, you'll find the valley of Baca, amen, means the valley of tears. And sometimes, that enemy would love to make us feel like you're never going to get out of that valley. Amen. But the Bible goes on to tell us in that same chapter that they went from strength to strength. Amen. I'm glad God didn't just have a little for us on Sunday morning, Sunday night. But whenever there's a need, I found it to be a prison hill. I've been a time of trouble. I've been to him. And amen, I love how the writer of Lamentation said, Amen. That it is of the Lord's mercy ha, ha, that we are not consumed ha, ha, for his compassion. Ha, ha, they fail not, but they're new every morning. Ha, ha, thank God he ain't got any leftover mercy, ha, ha, any leftover grace. Ha, ha, but when I find myself ha, ha, in the valley of Baca, ha, I can take it one day at a time, ha, ha, going from strength to strength. Ha, and amen, just like I preached the other night, ha, ha, about Ruth and Boaz is I feel, amen, God drops them handfuls on purpose to let us know that you don't have to keep crying that God can turn our mourning into dancing amen, he can give us that joy that we need to be able to face tomorrow I, I, but there are a lot of folks tonight, I, I, amen, that are trying to deal with that valley of Baca, I, I, amen, and they don't know the Lord, I, I, they don't have that assurance, I, I, they put their faith in people, I, I, people have let them down, I, I, amen, they have those people in their life that said, I, I, you know what, I'll always be there, I, I, when the good sun is shut, I, I, amen, they were abandoned. I, I, I want you to know there's one tonight that promised I, I'm never leaving nor forsake me. Amen. At the darkest time of my life, I, I, when they live in a corner, I, I, when they live in somebody there in the natural, I, I will lift up my hands. I, I, I'm glad, amen, the writer said, I, I, he is a lifter up on my head. I, I said, thank God. I, I, there's come a the time there'll be no more tears. I, I put a deal that time. I, I, we keep the line on Jesus. I, I, because he can help us. I, I, no matter what comes in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to understand tonight. When they said that they went from strength to strength, Job said with him is wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. You can't find that down at Walmart. You can't find that out in the world. The Bible said all that's in the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Uh, but I'm glad that when we go to the Lord, I uh, uh, will find that even in 2024, uh, uh, He still got the wisdom uh, uh, and the strength that we need. Uh, uh, amen. That's why I'm not worried about the eclipse. Uh, I'm not worried about the future. Uh, I know who holds my future uh, uh, in the palm of His hand, uh, and His name uh, uh, is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I, I, but I love, amen, Job 23 and 6. I, I, he said, will he plead against me with his great power? I, he said, no. I, I, amen, but he would put strength in me. I, I, man, when you're in that valley of Baca, I, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to face tomorrow. I, I, I'm glad that God is able I, I, to put that supernatural strength yeah. in us. I, I, but amen, what do they do when they don't know the line? I tell you what they do, they look for that temporary high. I, I, amen, and you know, I, I, they make feel good for a little while. I, I, but it needs some intake. It never needs a name. I, I believe God of God tonight. I, I can handle anything. I, I, amen, the Bible said in Ephesians 3 and 20, I, I now to him that is able. I, I have to do exceedingly I, I, and abundantly above all that we ask for things. Yeah. I'm holding you that power. I, I put it in us. Yeah. Amen. 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 
And so, you know, a lot of folks, they turn to the drugs. They turn to the alcohol. They turn to relationships. But it doesn't fill up that emptiness. But you and I, we've been blessed. We've got something. Amen. That is so real tonight. The Bible said, now think this. Amen. The substance. Things hoped for. And it's the evidence of things that are not seen. I'm glad this thing is real, Brother DJ, tonight. And amen, I just began to get a burden there the other night. For folks that have to get into that closet. And they're crying, they don't want nobody to see. But amen, there is a God that wants to cry your tears. That wants to help you tonight. How to be able to pull yourself together and face whatever's in front of you. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the first things that began to come to my mind. Amen. In 1 Samuel 30, we all know the story of how that David has been out. Amen. Fighting some battles. And he comes back to the city of Ziklag. While he was away, the enemy had slipped in. Attacked that city. Amen. Taking his wives and his children and his men's wives and children captive. And amen. It was a hard thing to do. With I, I, the Bible said that they went until they had no more power to be. I, I believe in you know the Bible goes on to tell me I, I, when that happened, I, I, he didn't just throw his hands and give up. I, I, he didn't say, Well, I, I'm going to come back from this. I, I, but the Bible said that David encouraged himself I, I, in the Lord. Encourage ourselves in the Lord. And if we'll turn to God tonight, and we can find that encouragement that we need to face the morning. Hallelujah. A lot of folks will. Have you noticed the devil will put people in your path? Amen. They'll try to get you to give up. Amen. I mean, you know, man. Uh, why, don't you go, uh, why don't you just quit? Uh, I mean, Job's wife says, why don't you just curse God and die? Uh, uh, amen. It's something. Uh, uh, but then you get me to go say, uh, I was mourning right along beside him. Uh, uh, that even spake of stoning him. Uh, uh, but he looked to the one uh, uh, that had been so faithful. Yeah. Uh, uh, the one that had caused the battle uh, uh, after battle. Uh, and then tonight, I want to encourage us. I, I would be better keep holding on to Jesus. I, I, the Bible said that it's in Him that we live. I, I move and have our big. We can't make it without Him. I, if you're looking to that world to find encouragement, I, I, you ain't going to find it. I'm trying to discourage you. I, I, but I'm glad for Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. I said, I'm glad for Jesus. Amen. He's able to help us. Amen. But not only did he encourage himself in the Lord, but he said, shall I pursue? In other words, can I get it back? A lot of times when that weeping spirit, that old valley of Baca experience comes, it's because the enemy would love for you to die right there in the midst of that failure, in the midst of that battle that you're in. Uh, but I want you to know we serve a God of restoration. Uh, uh, he can pick up uh, uh, the broken pieces of your life uh, and put them back together again. Uh, uh, amen. You don't have to give up. Uh, uh, you may have failed a million times, uh, uh, but today is a new day. Uh, and I'm telling you, God is able uh, uh, to make amen a message out of the mess uh, uh, that's been in your life. Uh, uh, you just got to turn it over to Him. Uh, uh, amen. And the Bible said we have not uh, uh, because we ask not. Yeah. Amen. amen. We just don't get past the Kleenex. Come on. Amen. You know, just weeping and crying. Uh, and I've met people and I, I wouldn't dare belittle their battles. Uh, uh, but some, amen, still crying uh, uh, over things that's happened. Uh, uh, amen. Many years ago. Uh, uh, some even over a decade. Uh, uh, amen. Still weeping about it. Uh, I can see that enemy would love to just keep you picking at it. I, I said there ain't no help. I, I, but there is help tonight. I, I, in the name of the Lord. 
And so just as David said, shall I pursue? And God said, pursue. For thou shalt utterly recover all. I believe God can put your life back together. You can't do it in yourself. But I've had so many say, preacher, when I get some things fixed up, then I'll come to church. I've got some things I'm dealing with. You can't do it in yourself. If you can do it in yourself, you'll never have to come. Amen tonight. I, amen. I'm telling you, there, there's a time of no more tears I, I'm, that's coming. But I believe until we get there, I, I believe God has given us solutions I, I, for the problems that we face. I, I, but sometimes, when the enemy, amen, overwhelm us, I, I, just like whenever they come out of the land of Egypt, I, and they got a boots in the Red Sea, I, it was like they were boots out. I, I, I mean, the enemy's coming in. I, I, they don't know where they're going. I, I, they don't know why. I, I bet it was that way. I, and sometimes the enemy, I, I would love for you to think I, I, your back's against the wall. You've got no options. I, I, but I'm glad the Bible said the effectual, I, a fervent prayer of a righteous man. I, I, you know, very much. I, I, you can still pray. I, and when they cried out to God, I, he said, finally come to me. I tell them just to go forward. Yeah. We got to keep going ahead. Yeah. Putting one foot in front of another, one day at a time. They used to say that when I was a boy. I, I, one day at a time. I, I, but man, I, I, it seems like battle after battle comes. I, and that enemy, amen, tries to. I, I make us feel like it just ain't going to happen. I, I, but the same God that opened that Red Sea I, and brought them through on dry ground, I, I, he's still God tonight. I, and the Bible said that he would say the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, the same yesterday. Yesterday, I, I, today, I, I am forever. Hey, God. I, I said, hey, man, you don't have to be crying. I, it ain't over yet. I, I, God's still a way making God. I, I, you just got to trust him. Amen. Why does it without faith? I, I, it's impossible to please him. I, and he that cometh to God must believe that he is. I, and that he is rewarder. I, I believe that diligently seek him. Yeah. I, I mean, we don't just seek him when we see our way clearly. I, I believe even when it looks like heaven or his clothes. I, I, amen. We still need to hang on to our faith. I, I, just like he told the church in Revelation. I, I sit before the open door. I, and no man can shut it. I, I, amen. So don't let the enemy depress you. I, I, but let God pick you up. I, and he'll bless you. I, I, hallelujah. I, I said I'm so grateful tonight. I, I for Jesus Christ. Yeah, amen. 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 That even when the shouting is over with I, and we go back to our homes, I, I, amen. I'm glad that we've got a God I, I that'll go with us. I, I that'll go through the things that are there with us. I, I, but sometimes, I, I, amen, we just I, I, amen, uh, try to lighten the load sometimes. I, I, you know, in Acts chapter 27, I, I, whenever that storm came upon them and I, I, they said that all hope that we should be saved I, I was then taken away. I, I, they tried to lighten the boat. I, and sometimes one of the first things we throw out, I, I, we quit going to church. Come on, come on. Hello. Yeah. I said we, we kind of stopped going to church. I, I, amen. But I'm glad that God wasn't through with them. I, and I believe God has still got us here I, I, for a purpose. I, I, amen. I'm, I'm telling you one day, I, I, we're going to walk into that no more tears. I, I, but until we get there, I, I, we need to encourage ourselves. I, I, we need to keep going forward. I, and we need to remind ourselves I, I, that he never lost a battle. I, and he ain't about to start now. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Why the Bible said in Psalm 126, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Have you realized those tears that you're crying? Amen. Are not the end of the matter. Amen. That God is able. Amen. To cause them to become a blessing. Amen. I'm reminded of that song. He's going to make this tribe a blessing. Though it sends me to my knees. How can you say that preacher? Romans 8 verse 28 said. For we know that all things. I work together for good I to them that love God I, I, anybody love God and rejoice worship sin of man. I, amen if you love God I, I, he said I'll cause you to work together I, I, for your good it may not be good but God said I can cause it I, I, to work together for your good amen. and so tonight amen instead of just letting the enemy happen I try to drain the life right out of us. I, I, amen. We need to understand to get through things. I, I, how much we need the Lord. I, I, amen. I heard a brother sing a song one time. I, of how that we've made God like a spare tire. I, I, we don't think much about him until we get in a tough spot. I, I, whenever we get in trouble, then we go and we expect him. I, how to get us through it. I, and then we throw him in the back. I, I, but amen. God don't want to just be God. God I, at those rough times of your life, but he wants to be God at all times. I, I, Lord of all or not at all. I, I, he said, I would that you were hot I, or cold for if you're lukewarm, I, I'll spew you out of my mouth. I, I, amen. We can't do this on our own. I, I, for the young men of fame I, and utterly fall, I, I, but they that wait upon the Lord, I, I shall I, I renew their strength. I, I they shall run up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not grow weary. I thank God tonight that we've got somebody that we can turn to when life throws us a curve. You don't have to leave that and die, but you can go forward in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want you to realize, I, I, amen, this is such a wonderful scripture. I, I, amen, when the Lord put it into my heart, I, I, I thought, hallelujah, Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. I, he said, so I returned I, and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. I, and behold, the tears I, of such as were oppressed. I, he said, now listen to this. They had no comforter I, I, on their side I, I, of their oppressors. The there was power, I, I, but they had no comforter. I, aren't you glad tonight that God said, I, I'm not going to leave you comfortless, I, I, but I'm going to send unto you another comforter, I, I, which is the Holy Ghost. I, I, man, we've tried to push him out. I, I, we've scheduled him to the side, I, I, but hey, amen, we can't make it without him. I, I still believe in the Holy Ghost tonight. That he is more than just what shouts us. I, and Causes us to run up and down the aisle. I, I, but he's there to comfort us. I, I, when nobody else is there. I, I, to tell us to dry our tears. I, I, that it's not as bad. I, amen as it may seem. Amen. amen. Have you ever thought about it? I, I can't believe in jail whenever the earthquake came. I, I, amen. And everyone's bands fell off and the doors open. I, I, first thing he did is he jerked out his sword. I, I, amen. Thinking, man, I, I've been under such responsibility. I, I think I'm going to give me something that's going to take my own life. I, I believe, man, there was a voice out of the darkness. I, I do thyself no harm. I, I thought we're all here. I, I thank God for that little same seal. I, I smoke boy. I, I'm going to speak to us today. I'm going to say, what are you doing morning? God's not dead. I, I, amen. We've got a livelihood. Amen. Tonight. I, I, if anybody ought to be shot, we ought to be shot down in the house of God. I ain't time to serve a dead God. I, I, but my God's alive. I said, my God's alive. Hallelujah. And yet we try to make it. Simply because we have power. He said they had power, but they had no comforter. And I'm telling you, there is no substitute for the comforter. Right. Amen. You can have good singing. 
You can have amen motivational messages. Come on. Come on, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, yeah. amen, in the midst of the situation, then you ain't got nothing. Amen. And the Bible said, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. But hey man, I want you to know tonight that I, I, God loves you so much that he wants to make that little deposit I, I, inside of you. I, I, that when things get rough, I, I, you can say like John did, I, I, amen, greater is he I, I, who is within me I, I, than he that's in the world. I, I, amen, I still believe in a victorious church. I, I, not a church that's just barely getting by, I, I, but a church that still believes in shouting. I, how anybody still believe in shouting? I, I guess the house of God. Amen. 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 Come on, man. I tell him, Brother Neil, you know, sometimes folks don't understand revival. He meant I was in revival one night. Man, there's such a good spirit there. Amen. Folks were shouting. I mean, before it even just got even started. And then they got up and sung Briars and Granddaddy's Grave. Man, that thing bottomed out quicker. Amen. Than a balloon that had been tore open. Yeah. Amen. We didn't come, amen, to talk about those things that depress and pull down the Bible. We never going to be done out of the edifying. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. I, I put a DJ Cruz last night. I'm determined not to know any other thing I, other than Jesus Christ. I, and him crucified. I, I, but I did come to tell you tonight if you're here and you're weeping over a matter, I, I, God wants you to know there's a time to laugh I, and there's a time to weep and there's also a time to refrain from eating. Amen. Great. Come on. Amen. Amen. And we need to pull ourselves together and realize where we're heading. Amen. My pastor always used to tell us when I was young and just starting out, I, I, he said, now, if we just keep in mind where we're going and who we have with us, I, he said, we can have a little heaven to go to heaven in. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hear folks brag all the time, man, I'm going to shout when I get there. I'm going to shout here. <laughs> Amen, man, I'm going to praise him when he raises our hands here. Amen. I ain't gonna wait till I get tired. Amen. Amen. Now, when I was younger, I used to buck and run with the rest of them. I, I, amen. I may not be able to run as fast. I, I jump like I used to jump when I was younger. I, I, but I come to say he's still good tonight. Amen. I say he's still good, dog. Amen. And God is good all the time. And all the time, God's good. Amen. So I'll tell you how I deal with them tears. Take it to the one that knows everything. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, a lot of times people are so wrapped up in their own battles, they maybe don't have time for it. I'm glad I've never had him turn me away. Never had him send me to voicemail. Amen. He's always been a prison help in a time of trouble. Amen. And I just couldn't get past that. Amen. No more tears. Amen. We act like sometimes, and I, I understand I, I, that we're living in perilous times, and it ought to, amen, bother us. I, amen. What we see going on out there in the world for their sake. Yeah. But, amen, we can't let what they're doing outrob us of our joy. The Bible said in Nehemiah 8 10, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. So thank God I ain't got to be bound by weeping and crying. And amen. Somebody told me one time, said, oh, if I ain't had a good cry, I don't feel like I've been to church. I said, well, I, I said, I know there are tears of joy. I, I, amen. But I tell you, I, I, I didn't come to mourn. I come to rejoice. I, I thank God this ain't all there is. I, he said in John 14, I, I, he said, let not your heart be troubled. I, I need to let it be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. I, I friend my father's house. I, I, there are many mansion friends. I, I we're heading somewhere. Amen. That ought to stir our hearts tonight. Yeah, yeah. Amen. But now it's just seems a lot of people get through one thing and now they're focused on something else. Oh. Here's so many people focused on that eclipse. Mm. He said something's going to happen. I said, well, didn't have to hear about the eclipse to know something's going to happen. <laughs> Amen. I read the Bible. Amen. Amen. The Bible said that in the last days, mm-hmm. some things that are going to happen. 
But I'm not looking for another sign. Amen. For what, you know, the world is looking at. Yeah. Uh, amen. I'm looking for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As I've said many times, I'm not looking for the undertaker. I'm looking for the upper taker. Amen. Woo! Hello. Yeah. Amen. But now, man, it's something. Seems like we just somehow lost for joy. Come on. That's right. Amen. We have allowed the things of this life to just pull us down. But I want you to know it ain't over until God says it's over. Listen to what he said in Jeremiah chapter 31. Amen. About verse 15 and 16. He said, thus saith the Lord, a verse of a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentations and bitter weeping. Rachel weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. But he said in verse 16, Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping, and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded. You know what he's saying? He's saying it ain't over. You're looking at it right now, but it ain't over. Amen. Friend, God's still got a plan. Amen. Amen. God's got my tomorrow. I may not know... What tomorrow holds, but thank God I don't know who holds tomorrow. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. And so, amen, he said to them, don't we? It ain't over. Amen. And it was a prophecy talking about the time when Herod was going to have all the little children saved to try to keep the, the Messiah from coming, the deliverer from coming. Yeah. Amen. But God still had a plan. Yes, I want you to know, in spite of what's going on out around the world, Amen. God's telling us, amen, to be encouraged. Amen. He's still got a plan. Amen. But unbelief will rob us of the assurance that God wants to give us in the midst of the situation. Mark chapter 9, amen. You're going to read about a, a, a daddy that had a child that was possessed by an unclean spirit. And amen, he brought him to the disciples to get him to cast them out, uh, cast the spirit out of that, that boy. And they could not. And Jesus began to talk to that man about how long it had happened since it first came upon him. And he said, fear not, only believe. And the man said in verse 24, he cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Sometimes that unbelief will try to get in between you. And having faith with God. Yeah, that's right. Come on, boy. But I can say with all assurance tonight, He's never failed, not one of us. Amen. 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 David said, I was young, and now I'm old, and I ain't never seen the righteous forsaken or he seen begging bread. Yeah. Amen. God has taken care of us. Amen. So why should we let some situation cause us to wear ourselves to death, walk the floor, bite our nails, amen, and I, I cry out, oh Lord, what am I going to do? I, I, when the Bible said that God has not given unto us I, I, the spirit of fear, but of power, I, I love and of a sound mind. Amen. And if anybody were to have a sound mind, it would be us. Yeah. Because we've seen his hand reach down so many times in our situation. I don't know when he's going to do it. I don't know how he's going to do it. But you know what? I still believe he's going to do it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Because he's, he's still God. Yeah. Amen. And yet, amen, just like this little man, sometimes we're so afraid because we've tried other people, just like he tried the disciples. Man may fail you, but God will not fail you. I want you to understand that tonight. Maybe you're here and you've had some bad experiences with people. Man, I could tell you stories about that. But you know what? It's not about what they've done. Because when you come to stand before God, it's not going to be them and you. It's going to be you. The Bible said you've got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And I'm so thankful that until that day comes, God is helping us to deal with the tears that come in our life. Do you realize God sees our tears? Isaiah chapter 38. And I'll close in a few minutes. 
Amen. Hezekiah was sick nine to death. And he gets a visit from the man of God. Uh And could you imagine? Set thy house in order, Uh for thou shalt surely die and not live. Man, look who he believed in. Wouldn't a false prophet was the actual man of God? I mean, you you would have thought that he would have just been resigned to his faith. Do you know what he did? He turned his face to the wall. And he began to pray. He didn't waste it with useless words. But he prayed. And before Isaiah got halfway across the courtyard, he said, you go back and you tell Hezekiah, I've heard your cry and I've seen your tears. Boy, I'm glad God still sees our tears. When nobody else sees. Yeah. I've known folks hide away to shed a few tears. Try to make believe like it's all right. That I've got it all together. But I want you to know tonight. That when you come before God. You don't have to hide a thing. He sees you for what you are. Amen. And he wants you to know. That you don't have to leave here the same way that you came. Yeah. And the same God that allowed him to be healed. And added unto his days. Fifteen more years. <laughs> Can put new life in your life tonight. But you've got to turn it over to him. You'll never drink it away. You'll never do drugs enough to get rid of it. And you'll never have that right relationship that's so right with somebody down here. That'll take away that need for God that's in your heart. Listen to what he said. Revelation 21 verse 4. And God. Not an archangel. Not a seraphim or a cherubim. But God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things have passed away. So if you're here tonight. And you're not where you need to be with God. And maybe you've got a broken heart. Maybe you've got things going on in your life that nobody has any clue of. I'm telling you, God knows. And as we bow our heads tonight for just a minute, I want to simply ask you this. And I promise you, if you're here and you raise your hand, I'm not going to come back and try to embarrass you. I'm not going to try to uh, pull you up here. But would there be one anywhere in the house that would simply just raise your hand and say, I'm not where I need to be with God. I need God's help. Is that you? Amen. Maybe you're dealing with some things and you're trying to figure out how you're going to make it. Would you just slip that hand up, put it right back down. God sees you for what you, and where you are. I'd like to ask you tonight, maybe you're here and you are saved and you're just dealing with some things that you don't know how to deal with. Would you come and gather around this altar with me for just a few minutes tonight as we pray? Tears, a lot of times, will try to get between us in a revival. Amen. The sorrow instead of joy. But God wants to turn our sorrow around, and He can. There's so many scriptures in the Bible about tears and how that God wants to change things. But so many times, being so independent, thinking we can do it in ourselves, we run the other direction. I've come to tell somebody tonight, you don't have to run 